Hi. Hey, how are you? Oh, hi. <laughs> how are you? How are you feeling? I'm nervous. Are you? I'm pretty good. I'm I'm, I'm pretty relaxed. Yeah? yeah. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. You're not gonna make a run for it, are you? Yeah. Father, thank you so much for for bringing us here today for this day and this this amazing whole weekend. We appreciate you bringing our, our family and friends out so much. And we ask that today is the start of an entire marriage where we, we do everything we can to help build each other up, make each other into the best versions of ourselves as individuals and as a couple. And we always seek first your kingdom and, and work to glorify you in everything we do. In your name we pray. Amen. I love you. We'll see you soon. Good evening. It's good to be here to celebrate this day with Morgan and Justin. Uh, excited for this step they're taking in their life, in their life together. And uh, it's a real honor for me to be a part of this with you today. So Justin and I have always been very close when he lived in Elma Anderson, Manchester. Between quarantine and becoming roommates this past year has resulted in some of my favorite memories that I've had. And now with Morgan moving in, she now officially gets to become one of the boys of 885. Hold it up a little bit while you walk. What shoes are you wearing? Oh, cute! <laughs> so, I don't know. Thank you. Oh, so sparkly! You look beautiful! Yes. <laughs> Super excited. <laughs> Are you excited? Do we? Okay, Justin, will you have this woman to be your wife or live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And more, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live. The marriage of Justin and Morgan brings together two families and creates a new family. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? We do. We do. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. You may kiss your bride. Um, Justin and Morgan met obviously through her sister Dakota and I knew immediately that he was a perfect fit for her. First, thank you for being my wife. I prayed for you before I even knew you existed and could have never found a more perfect wife or woman. I vow to always love you as Christ loves us with unconditional love, patience, and kindness. I vow to respect, honor, empower, and speak life into you every day. I vow to actively love you however and wherever life takes us. 
I vow to raise our family, to love the Lord, love others, and to exemplify that myself. I vow to love you every day for the rest of our lives. Justin, I've thought about this day since I was a little girl, always trying to imagine, <laughs> sorry, um, the man who would be standing across from me today. But never in my wildest dreams could I have pieced together the incredible person that you are. Justin, you're my most obvious gift from God, my own piece of heaven on earth. I will pray for you daily and never stop thanking him for putting you in my life. Today, it's the greatest, greatest honor of my life to become your wife, and I love you more than I could ever say. Uh, I want to say because of the many ways Morgan is so accepting and loving, I honestly don't feel like a stepfather, I feel like a little dad. I know I will never be able to take the place of your dad, but I vow to always be there for you. And in my heart, you were going to I know I'm talking with Kelly that your dad would be very proud of you, all of your accomplishments, and that he would love Justin like we all do, and would approve of this marriage 100%. So I want to toast Justin and Morgan that they enjoy every day with each other, that they stay focused on, their, on living their faith, and to quote Colossians, let love guide your life. To Justin Morgan. Between us, between us,